Man, um, this is crazy, folks. People, you know how situations you hear them and you just can't even believe it yourself? That you're actually listening to it? And you're like, damn. <laughs> this is kind of retarded. But anyway, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Uh, I should say that in the banner uh, where the Patreon is. Um, Car Signal for Life. I'm not even going to tell you what's there. That's how much is there. I saw something today that blew my mind off Patreon, and I forgot I put it there. I'm like, wow, I'm going to have to go back and watch my own work. Oh, uh, yeah, because there's a lot of things that have never seen the light of day on YouTube, just on Patreon, and that's why it's really worth it. Then you get to hear and listen to early videos that many people don't know anything about. And, of course, our cash app is Carcino. As we move forward. Now, let's look at what's going on. And the hip hop world. Now, I really ain't talked about this Benzino situation with 50 Cent because 50 doing what he normally do, and that's troll. And Benzino is right now caught off his square because he's looking real bad and crazy out here over this uh, Shauna Brown situation. Um, or Shauna Brooks or whatever. Because her stories are a lot different from his. <laughs> Let's just say that. And he's getting called out on. Him. And 50 Cent, you know, clowning him and everything else. So he gets livid. And he starts going back to like 99 and Ja Rule. And yeah, remember Ja Rule cut the lights off over you. You a snitch. And blah, blah, blah. He's just losing his mind. And now he's getting roasted on social media so bad. It's just like, man, this dude, you know, you know, they should be very careful with dealing with him. He's an old man, you know, like he's probably approaching 60 right now, you know, and this is not a good look for him. And the reason why I say it like that is because this dude has done everything in life to try to prove his relevance in hip hop. Like he wants to be a star really bad. You know, like he just like won't let the dream go. Like we gonna make it. And I mean, his dad bought him a hip hop magazine. It's like, look, son, you love this thing so much. Look, I'm going to put in my money and we'll get you a publication. Just run the hip-hop publication. You see, it's cool to fall back on your Jewish dad. <laughs> see, even though he never wants to acknowledge his, uh, his Jewish side, he always runs back to it whenever he runs into problems or situations that don't favor him. Then, you know, you hear come the Jewish side, come right on out. And here come lawsuits, and he's threatening me. <laughs> he's on this dog on TV screen crying, and how you gonna give him some water? You know, like breaking up with his baby moms, and he's lying. And he does what Benzino does a lot. You know, he'll have some good points and good things about him, but then he starts lying. Blatantly lying. It's like, dog, oh, you know you hit that man, car. Huh? I did not. He's lying. But did you hear him say what he said about me? I'm like, man, this boy, he went to Hebrew school for real. <laughs> they got the Judaism going real strong with this one. Never about what you do. It's what somebody else did. Okay. We see. Now, all 50 it was just clowning, man. And this dude is self destructing in front of the whole world. 
And for what? You out here crying because the, your, your ex-wife don't want to be with you no more. And she trying to sleep with the neighborhood fire department, man. Dude, retired man from the fire department. You finna put some work down on that. She trying to restart. And you you don't want to let go. You down there hitting the man truck. You don't even know him. You know, and that's his problem. I don't know if he taking roids or what, but man, dog, you might need to, you know, kind of like check that because you only hurting yourself. You are only hurting yourself. You too grown for it too, man. It's like you on with your daughter. It's like you supposed to be enjoying your your days with your grandchildren and you know, just happy to try to get that right. Instead, you run around here trying to, you know, do crazy stuff and and be 25 at 60. It's like, dog, it's over. You run, you ran that race. You know, you getting hit up at your mom's funeral. You know, it's that's sad. By your own family. That's crazy. I mean, he got a reckless mouth. And then he's oblivious to anything that he has done. He acts like the victim. He goes and pulls the Jewish card. I'm suing social media. I'm suing all the social media profiles. I'm suing everybody who says something about me. You suing everybody that didn't say something. Well, here you go. Just spell my name right. Now, I don't understand for the life of me about his situation with him and his daughter. But it's obvious she's got things going on and she's trying to do things with her life and move forward. And what she don't want to do is have her father's nonsense mess up her day. That's the way I see it. Now, y'all could tell me different, but that's the way I see it. 50 ain't concerned with this loser. Because, in, in honesty, I used to like Benzino. Like, as a straight-up dude, like, I felt like he was the one holding down and he really cared about hip-hop. And he really tried to, you know, bring his homeboys up and just try to make it in the business. But it was a conflict of interest because your job is to promote the artist. And then he started turning that more and more into promoting himself and using the magazine to promote himself and using the Eminem's name to really ride in a beef to boost himself. Well, he brought up uh, some some good points in the song um, that he had that died another day. You know, but one, I don't think he wrote it. Two, the beat went hard. It was underrated, but it was good enough to make Eminem have to respond for real. Because the first time it was like a a joke, but then he him had to get for real. Mm. Yeah, and he came up with the sauce. And then broke down everything that was going on. 
and that one freestyle. And they basically bankroll, I mean bankrupt the entire Source magazine. It was just, it was bad. Every issue is an eight-page maiden spread. Will somebody tell whoever braids his head that I am not afraid of this little wasted lead on my pencil for me to write some it this simple? <laughs> <laughs> this OG's about to get smoked like raw weed. <laughs> oh man, he got what he just, he got what he wanted. He got Eminem to get into a battle with him, and it was basically over after the assault. So. Eminem's last words on that song was, you owe me. <laughs> oh, man. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Well, he forgot about the magazine. And the magazine suffered because of it. Because artists was picking sides. Artists weren't really working with the source anymore. So, Shady Records went and bought XXL. And then XXL became the staple magazine. They was financially backed, and everybody started drifting over to XXL. And if Eminem's on the cover and all the artists, there you have it. All very strategic. Now, Benzino, um, I guess he, I don't know if he's on reality TV anymore. You know, I'm not a reality television person, so I don't know what's going on there, but what I do know is that this has gone on for far too long with him and his daughter. The 50 Cent thing was just a jab. If he goes and sues 50 Cent, he's the biggest idiot in the world. And because it's only going to make him look 10 times worse. And everybody's going to say, yep, that Jewish shot is right there, nice and strong. <laughs> so I ain't going to make this a long one. Uh, we're going to have some just coming out and just popping out like teeth. So, <laughs> just stay tuned. It's your boy Carcino. I'm out. God bless. Thank you for the cash apps and all the donations. I do appreciate it. Love, peace, and hair grease, y'all. All right, that's it. Stop it.